Hey YouTube, how's it going? I just wanted to do a uh, quick update video. It's been a while since I've put a video up, um, and that's just because I've had so, much, so many things going on. Um, problems with my internet. Um, had to go to court for my child's, or my, not my child's, for my uh, workers' comp case and everything else. So it's it's been a little while since I've been able to make a video or felt good enough to make a video. So. Um, but I've been having so many problems with my network, my home network lately, um, with my Wi-Fi. Uh, the wired network works okay, but the Wi-Fi sucks. And I live out in the country, so I have barely any cell phone signal, so that sucks too. So our cell phones barely work, you know, whether it's on Wi-Fi or uh, the cell, cell service. Um, the laptops work okay on the Wi-Fi, but they're pretty slow too, so... I figured it was about time to update our, our home network and I'm going to do a quick video of the, the parts that I got um, and actually I'll walk through the, the network how it's set up right now first and then I'll show you the parts that I got and I'll do an individual video um, kind of unbox quick unboxing of each of these items that I got and an old quick overview of them and then once I get everything hooked up I'll do another video and show how I have everything hooked up and and how it's working then so alright uh, be right back I'm going to show you how the network's set up right now alright I'm back um, this is how my home network's currently set up I just have my factory um, Time Warner you know modem and Wi-Fi I should have updated that a long time ago because those things suck and uh, Got that run into my home theater PC and my uh, Xbox 360 down there. The Wii is on the Wi-Fi. TV's on the Wi-Fi. It's a smart TV. Um, our laptops are both on the Wi-Fi. Plus, both of our Samsung Galaxy Note 4s are on the Wi-Fi. I have my workstation uh, hardwired, but basically I have a Cat 6E cable running over here. And I have it hooked to this little network switch right here. And then I have one cable coming out that goes to my workstation right here. And another one for the kid's computer, which is actually down right now too. i got to put a new power supply in it. So, but with all this stuff connected, man, that Time Warner um, router just sucks. You know, it sucks anyways. I mean, even if I only had... You know, a couple things connected, it just sucks. You know, our Wi-Fi is the worst ever um, when it comes to our phones. My phone's slower on our on our Wi-Fi when we have 30 megabit a second internet than it would be on like 3G, you know, on a mobile network. You know, we barely have any mobile signal here, so, you know, it just sucks. So, but that's the, that's the network so far. Um, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little update. So basically, I have the router, two um, things hooked directly to the router with a with a wired connection, uh, the home theater PC, and the Xbox 360. Uh, then I have the Wii and the TV over here on wireless, workstation wired, and the kids PC wired um, through that switch back there. So, and then I use the two laptops and our phones um, on the Wi-Fi also so but all right uh, let me get my tripod set back up and I'll show you my new goodies so be right back all right guys so this is all my new network gear uh, the first thing I just want to go over which isn't gonna be I'm not gonna go over it a whole lot um, because this really isn't isn't needed for most people's in-home networks this is a Verizon wireless um, network extender that I actually ordered from Verizon I got a uh, it's our signal in here is so bad usually usually I only have a bar or two you know if that so I got them to give me that um, that hooks right into the Wi-Fi and gives you voice and data basically a little cell tower right in your home so I got that um, I'll do a little unboxing of that real quick um, on its own little video but you know and and show it working but that's not really important to the network you know that's just a extra thing for out here in the boonies where I don't have hardly any signal so 
All right, and the next thing is this TP-Link Doxis 3.0 cable modem. So I have my own modem instead of relying on their on Time Warner's modem. This is approved by Time Warner. So all I gotta do is hook that up, call them, give them the the MAC address and all that of it, and it'll and they'll be able to activate that for me real quick. And that's this is up to 300 and. 343 megabytes a second download this will work up to I only have 30 megabyte right now um, pretty soon it should be updating to 50 megabyte the plan that I'm on um, so but basically this all this is is a modem you just hook your cable wire coming out of your wall into it and then one ethernet cable from that to your router and the modems that they give you the Wi-Fi modem is a modem Oh, and a wireless router all in one you know and the more things you have in one piece of equipment the more thing problems it could have with software or hardware so you know I a lot of people I know uh, have their own cable modem and uh, their own wireless router which these aftermarket wireless routers are always better than the crap the cable company gives you they give you the cheapest crap you can get so you know um, but I'll once I get all this stuff hooked up, you know, I'll go into, I'll do a little unboxing video of each thing real quick, and then, and then show it working, and I'll do like a before and after too on my network, um, with the speed, like on my Wi-Fi with my cell phone, how long it takes to open up like YouTube or website, things like that, and on my laptops and my PC, and we'll just do a little network test. You know, it's probably not going to get any faster overall, um, except for on the cell phones and the laptops probably, but with wired connections it won't get much faster but it'll, it'll probably be a lot more stable so but that's that it's the TP-Link TC 7610 or 7610 cable modem and then the jewel of them all this is the the best part you know for me in my opinion you know this will this will help us out a lot with our cell phones and our and our laptops and things like that this is a ASUS RT AC68U and it's a uh, up to 1900 megahertz you know complete is what it says that's I mean that's not uh, 1900 megahertz bandwidth basically that's not you know real world numbers but that's technically what it could get up to you know it's got um, 600 megahertz on the 2.5 gigahertz channel and then 1300 on the 5 gigahertz channel for Wi-Fi so um, it's a dual channel 2.5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz you know which the 5 gigahertz will definitely help us with our cell phones because uh, it's the AC wireless the new, newest wireless which our cell phones have and the Time Warner router only has wireless in, you know, so it's it doesn't go very fast. So this should help a lot, you know, and it's it's got the best ratings. I mean, on Amazon, this thing was two thousand some reviews on it, you know, and it was almost five stars. You know, it's just from what I've what I've read, what I've watched on videos, and, and all the the research I've done, this is the best bang for the buck and best future proof router for to use for a while. So you know, it's. That's what I went with. So, um, like I said, I'll do a little un a quick unboxing of each of these things. Um, but for now, I just want to do like a quick little overview. Um, and before I get it hooked up, I'll do you know the comparison videos. I'll do a little test on my phone, show you how slow it is, you know. And I'll do on the laptop, on Wi-Fi, and on the the workstation PC that's wired. Um, you know straight into the the router and show you the difference so and then I'll once I get everything hooked up and and working uh, I'm gonna go into a lot of detail about this router when I do when I hook this one up you know the setup of it uh, all the different options things like that so if anybody's interested in one of these keep an eye out for that video so because I'm really gonna get into it with this router this thing's got so many features um, you know that it's just this is a power user router router right here you know this is why I bought it so Alright, well, uh, let me go ahead and do those uh, little
quick tests, then I'll uh, do the unboxing videos, and then we'll get her all get it all set up, and I'll do another video that shows the network all set up. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is going to be the test on my uh, workstation PC, the HP Z800 workstation, and this is wired through a switch from directly from my router. So let's go here. And we're going to go to speedtest.net. There it is. I'm going to select the same, uh, try and select the same server on each one of these. We'll go to the Toledo, Ohio one run this test. Tings 44 milliseconds which isn't very good but not horrible I guess. 27, 28, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 35.81 is the fastest I got. Uploads pretty slow but that's what I pay for is 30 up and 5 or 30 down and 5 up so 35.81 and 6 up or down and six up so there you go I'm not gonna do any uh, a download or anything I don't I couldn't find a file that I could easily just download on all three of these that's uh, big enough so I'll just do the speed test you know and you can see with the ping and the total speed and all that stuff um, what we're looking at so I'll go ahead and set up all my laptops now and um, and then do it on my laptop and on my cell phone. So I will be right back. All right, let me get to speedtest.net here. And I'm going to go to the same server, the one in Toledo. Come on. As, as you can see, it's pretty freaking slow. Let's see what this one shows. Ting was about the same. Download of 26.58. So almost 10 megabytes a second slower. About the same upload. About 5.86, so... 10 megabytes a second slower on the download, which is just, you know, the, the Wi-Fi is four feet away, you know what I mean? So, and actually that can affect it, you know, if the Wi-Fi signal is too high and you're real close to it, it could make it go a little slower than if you turn it down, you know, and vice versa. If you're far away, it might need to be turned up, stuff like that. But still, that's a big leap just from, you know, a wired connection to a unwired connection. Plus, I get errors all the time on my cell phone and on my laptop that the the connection is unstable you know the Wi-Fi so which means it's going up and down real bad or cutting in and out stuff like that so alright well I'm gonna do one on my phone here next I'll be right back alright I'm back and I got my Galaxy Note 4 here um, Samsung Verizon Wireless Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and if you can see that up at the top I mean, that's the best signal I get in the house right here is 3G with two bars. And a lot of the time I'll drop uh, calls and stuff in the house. Um, you know, just randomly, it's ridiculous. You know, I'll just be on a phone call, won't even move the phone, and it'll, it'll just drop the call on me. So, but I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, well, actually, sorry, I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi. Let me go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. And we're going to go to, I'm going to go to the speed test app and see what we get. Should let me connect to a certain server, just like on the PC, so we'll see. Hopefully this is loud enough. My uh, shotgun mic's pretty much pointed straight up in the air right now with the way this is. This is, see how long it takes? I mean, it's just ridiculous. And 
and that's the same Wi-Fi that I was connected to on my PC and the same internet connection as my, or sorry, on my laptop and the same internet connection that's wired into my PC, so it's ridiculous for it to be this slow. I don't know what the deal is. My, my phone's fast as heck on anybody else's Wi-Fi, even, you know, a base, base Wi-Fi that's 8 megabytes a second or something like that, you know, it's just... But for some reason, with our Wi-Fi, it just sucks. You know, look at this. I mean, taking forever. Look at that. Still finding best server. I mean, come on, dude. Come on. Hurry up. I don't know why this is so grainy. I got good light in here, but... Well, while this is loading, I'm going to see if I can move my studio light around and get some better lighting over here. There we go. Let's see what it says here. I yeah, see how slow it is. I mean, there's, this shouldn't be any different than this shouldn't be any different than a damn, you know, a PC. So that's ridiculous. There's no way it should be that slow, you know. Still trying to figure out the upload. Jeez. It's ridiculous. Come on, man, go. Well, I don't know, the upload's not even working, so... You know what I mean? That's the that's the problem. I mean, it's just slow as crap on our phones for some reason, our Wi-Fi. I have no idea why. There's no reason for it. You know, they used to work great, and then all of a sudden, you know, I uh, was having problems with my router one day. Um, reset it, and everything started working fine, except for our phones. You know, our phones from that point on just were slow as crap, you know, and I tried calling... Time Warner and you know did troubleshooting with them. They even sent somebody out, tested it. They all oh, everything's fine, so they won't do nothing about it. You know they're saying call Verizon, which it's not a Verizon problem because my phone works on everybody else's Wi-Fi perfectly. You know, and it's only our home Wi-Fi. So that's when I decided to say screw it. You know, I'm just gonna get my own cable modem and and router and and go from there. So. I'll rerun all these tests once I get everything hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing and quick overview videos now. Once I get that done, I'll be back and I'll do a retest all the, the laptop, the, um, the laptop, the phone, and my PC. So I shall return. Watch out for those videos, guys.